after you have made it. So, yeah. yeah. Commissioner, if I may. There is another country that it was not mentioned, Fine. Albania. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know what are your concerns, uh, especially when it comes to the opening of negotiations with Albania. When do you expect the country to, to be, let's say, there and start this process, the real process of accession? And uh, one of the main conditions so far on it has been the justice reform. EU ambassador in Tirana yesterday was uh, actually uh, saying that there is no more time on adopting it. She was calling on the political parties, mainly the opposition, to, to uh, go ahead and adopt the draft that was already consulted with the Venice Commission. We have uh, an invitation by the Prime Minister to the leader of opposition to discuss over it, but he made it publicly clear that there will be no changes on the draft. So I know that quality is more important for uh, than, than rather than speed for you. You are mentioning it since uh, uh, last uh, progress report. But uh, on the other side, how can we deal? How the country should deal in order to uh, start the accession process? Thanks. I can only three times underline what uh, our ambassador has said. Uh, it's absolutely uh, in the so to say responsibility of all political parties, and uh, uh, I know for this we need a two-third majority, and um, I can only urge uh, also the opposition um, and, of course, uh, the government to find a solution. She is totally right when saying that uh, um, we need sooner than later a decision, definitely uh, by the end of uh, June. Why? Because uh, um, uh, it's not only about the adoption of the judiciary reform as such, but uh, we have to see first uh, implementation measures, and this is primarily the so-called vetting process. I'm, I'm, of course, sure that, uh, uh, so to say, at the time of our progress report in, in October, uh, early November, this process will not be concluded. But on the other hand, we would like to see first results having an indication that the process is in the uh, right uh, track and therefore decisions before the summer concerning the legal basis must be taken. Otherwise, we cannot see uh, how this uh, process is, so to say, or how this um, uh, legislation is started to be implemented. And therefore, what I have said already in my introduction, I urge all to all the political parties uh, and, and players to be aware about, uh, so to say, their responsibility concerning uh, the European perspective. Because when traveling to the country, when speaking to people in the country or here in Brussels or somewhere, Nearly every political player uh, and every relevant political party is committed to the European perspective. So this is usually a national goal, a national objective. And if this is the case, they have to be aware that at a certain moment um, compromises must be found. And this is, this is my observation, one of the real challenges in the region to, to find a compromise, because there is still this um, attitude that a compromise is, is, is uh, showing weakness. Yeah? And uh, there is this so say, perception, I have to win, and if I'm not winning, I'm losing. But in democracy, you have to find a compromise. A compromise means that every party has to give in, but a good compromise is something where everybody also gains something. And uh, once again, if all the political parties or all the main political parties in a country, like in Albania, are committed to the European perspective, I expect that at a certain moment they are able to find a compromise in order to, to, to allow us to make the next step.